her way to the ring, the challenger for the Ultra Women's Championship, Sumi Sakai, out of the land of the rising sun, Japan, where she made much of a career for herself. The former All Japan Pro Wrestling Women's Tag Team title holder. She faced, much like Tessa Blanchard, faced many of the great male competitors as well. Faced the great Sasuke in Japan. Faced Dick Togo in Japan. And now has a shot at the Ultra Women's title right here in the Ultra Tour. I don't mean to take anything away from Sakai. Sakai, again, a destroyer, a killer. If you go back and look up those matches Todd Kennelly was just referring to, you'll see she can hang with anybody, male or female, much, much like Tessa. But we're talking about a diamond, and diamonds are forever. And quite frankly, Test is about to come out here, and the mood of this building is about to change because these fans know they are wish they're watching absolute greatness. It's fitting that diamonds are formed by great heat and pressure, and that certainly has been the case throughout the title reign of Tessa Blanchard. She has faced the who's who, won the title, taking on Chelsea Green on May the 4th, one year ago plus. Face the likes of many incredible comp competitors. Most recently, Jordan Grace, Thick Mama Punk. What a matchup that was. And, and so many others, including Taya Valkyrie, Priscilla Kelly, yeah, Rachel course. Ellering, uh, yeah, Ellering Baker, you name it. I mean, so many great women have come through, and Taya, has, I mean, excuse me, Tessa has beat all of them. And, and, and she continues to be that shining beacon of light in the women's division around the world. Fans, this contest, your semi-main event of the evening, it is for the Ultra Women's Championship. Your official in charge of the action when the bell rings is Jeremy Marcus. Introducing first our challenger. She comes to us from Jersey Shore, Japan. Her opponent is our current reigning and defending Ultra Women's Champion from Charlotte, North Carolina. She is the undefeated, undeniable. Fired up and rightfully so. What a title reign it's been. Talked about many that have tried to knock the undeniable one from her throne here at PCW Ultra. All have failed. Undefeated is Tessa Blanchard here in the oh, Ultra Tour. So one year away, my bad. Tessa Blanchard trying to prove as of late not only perhaps the best female competitor in the world, but one of the best all in all competitors had wars with the likes of the Callahan Death Machine. Sammy Callahan and Impact Wrestling, we know how dangerous, we know all too well how dangerous Callahan is. Well, Callahan's on that list too, of, of one of the best in the world. And so to see him and Tessa go at it recently has been uh, a real treat. We've watched through our television sets at home. And, you know, frankly, Tessa Blanchard, like you were just saying, it's, it's, she's just one of the best in the world. She's pound for pound, one of the great technicians and competitors in our sport today. It's proven it. Took on the likes of uh, Impact Wrestling Hall of Famer Gail Kim. And Gail is one of the best. Yeah, no doubt. And Tessa just keeps showing up. Big shot there, and returning fire is Sumi Sakai. Sumi Sakai, no stranger to getting in fisticuffs in warfare. Right out of that Japanese strong style in Japan. Look out there, big cutter by the champion early. First meaningful strike. And just like a flash of light, Tessa able to grab the head and neck, and that front chance would drop right down to her back. Tessa's just That's so fast. He's three years older, but Champ doesn't get paid by the hour, looking to make short work 
of the Japanese legend Sumi Sakai. Look out here, Sakai, wise to that one. And ducks out of harm's way. Makes the champion chase. Tess is doing exactly what she needs to do. She's pursuing the challenger. She's not giving her any time to breathe. Tessa right on top of it. A lot of champions we've seen over the years, you know, they may, they may wait to be attacked, just as she's being right now. Right there on the outside, wow, big forearm to the back from Sumi Sakai in an unsanctioned area around the ring. And Frank, frankly, Todd, this is bad. This, this is bad for the champ. Sure is. Sumi Sakai getting control of the matchup and really hammering away at the champion, Tessa Blanchard. And Sumi Sakai, a prolific striker to be sure, has had a successful MMA career as well as her exploits inside the squared circle. Referee, referee Jeremy Marcus really needs to, to assert his authority here and get these women away from the fences and away from the fans. We don't want anybody getting hurt on the outside. I honestly thought, like, Sumi has gotten the champ in a bad spot right now. And she knows it, and she's going for the cover, but powerful kick out, only a count of one. Making a statement there is Tessa yeah, Blanchard. She's, yep, and the tenacity of Tessa. She may be beat up for the moment, having just been thrown into a steel guardrail. She's gonna fight out. A little gamesmanship here by Sumi Sakai, showing a lot of confidence in the early going of this championship contest. And Tessa Blanchard has taken on and defeated all shapes and sizes and all types of competitors that have come her way. And different type of competitor from what she just faced in Jordan Grace. And Sumi Sakai, showing that she's quite unorthodox as well. Buries that knee into the down champion. Champion's in a bad spot here. Sakai knows it. Look at that. Puts the legs underneath. Sakai rolls through. And a variation of a crab there from Sakai, that Boston crab. She's sort of twisting as well. Really putting the torque on the left obliques of Tessa Blanchard showing all the Pain and anguish in her face. Sumi Sakai will, will really punish you. And now seizing the arm. So taking away that option to get to the sidelines there. Taking away that option for the champ to get to the ropes. But Tessa Blanchard trying to overpower, fight with everything she can to escape this hold. Sakai hooked the elbow though. Sakai unable to hold both legs and that left that left hand able to get to the looks, God, it looks like Tessa Blanchard has been busted open. Yeah. Looks to be bleeding from the she nose, bleeding. and right now, nice counter kick there by Tessa Blanchard, but as this fight, and that's really what it has been, goes into deep water if it gets there, that could become a factor. It could really affect the breathing of the champion. And you see the sense of urgency now, and the aggression by the champ. She knows that she was in trouble with trying to turn the tide. Blanchard may have a broken nose. Our champion may have a shattered nose from a, something we may have missed earlier. I'm not sure what exactly did it. But she's bleeding profusely from the nose and able to get the magnum, but only half of it. And it was on that second rope, but Sakai might be out though. And no. Sakai went down awkwardly and I really, I think, caught the knee in a position where she was unable to brace or defend it. Tessa Blanchard digging down deep. You see the crimson streaming down her face. But Tessa Blanchard will always try and find a way to fight on. This is how she won the title. Magnum off the top. Not able to capitalize, however. Look out here, Sakai. Swings through with the fisherman. High impact move by the challenger looking to make history. Count it two. Sumi Sakai may have busted the nose of our champion who lies prone on her back. Todd, have we ever seen Tessa in this type of trouble before? Well, she's been in some hellacious fights. You know, we talked about Jordan Grace and Diamante. I remember that being a real physical title defense, but perhaps not in this kind of trouble at this point in the matchup. And Sakai now, again, one step ahead there. 
You gotta wonder if it starts to affect, you know, the vision, the energy of the champion. Missile drop kick by Sakai. Wow, that landed right on the button, Todd. And only two from Jeremy Marcus, our referee for this match, is sporting the blue latex gloves as, as Tessa Blanchard, our champion, is bleeding profusely from the face. Bleeding profusely, but she's got a lot of blood running through those veins as well, and it's running hot and heavy right now. And the champion now given as good as she's getting, or at least she was, until Sakai, the challenger, able to drop her again. Dropping down to her knees is Sakai. That really rocked her, Todd. Sakai just turning around a circle, like just fighting back on instinct now. Sakai, no, no balance under those feet. Oh man, beautiful double overhand chops. Turning into a real war of attrition, striking battle. Tessa Blanchard thinking DDT perhaps, countered into an Swings through, oh my goodness, did she ever. That was devastating. Decimate the champion and the reign, no. The over one year reign nearly came to an end just like that. What an offensive maneuver. Wow. Tessa, I, I don't think we've ever seen her in this type of trouble before. She's, she is going up against one of the best players in the world. I mean, Sumi Sakai. Sumi Sakai now looking to go to the top rope. This is a dangerous spot for her. She missed. Legendary great Muda once competed right here in the Ultra Torium. That was shades of him right there with that big moonsault. And Tessa Blanchard, again, I really believe that that laceration is paying dividends for the challenger right now. I mean, if you can't breathe, you, you lose oxygen to your brain and to your lungs. It's not easy to have a broken nose and, and continue to fight out if she does it. Going upstairs again, maybe looking for that Magnum. Wasn't able to hit it the first time. I think she's got that distance she needs here. There oh, it is. She got it. Oh, yeah. She she got is it. out. She is out. Sayonara. Oh, no. Not yet. What? What is going on tonight? That's what that desire for championship gold means. You dig down deep, you find that little something extra. A way to fight on. Magnum off the top. Over one year reign, Christian Cole. How many people has she put away with the Magnum? Talking about champion Tessa Blanchard and not enough somehow. And, and, and Sakai is still out. Having to be pulled up to a vertical base by her hair. I mean, how did she even kick out? Blanchard had her measured, was looking to hit with bad intentions. Rolls through, rolls through! Oh! What? 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 Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new Ultra Women's Champion, Sumi! Just hear the shock in the Ultratorium. The faithful couldn't believe what they saw, and neither can we. Are you kidding me? Sumi Sakai is the Ultra Women's Champion. And it came down to a counter. What a fight it was. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.